Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use the Goal Seek feature in Excel to perform some analysis of my fund calculator. Okay, so just made this retirement fund calculator, and you can see the other video for how to create this. But I wanted to come into, I want to figure out some scenarios where what do I need to save in order to reach a particular goal? So right now I've got a retirement goal of 65 uh, years old, current age of 30, 35 years left, 300 months, uh, 300 bucks per month in, 11.5% annual return. It's about 1.6 million with an estimated monthly draw of $5,600. So, but that's not me. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste. I'm going to make a, a side by side calculator. So I am not 30, I am actually 44. And since that greatly reduces my years left, it has a tremendous impact on the future value, over a million dollars difference because of that, and a very low monthly draw. But I'd like to figure out exactly how much do I need to save per month to get to some similar goals. Now, I don't necessarily need to get to 1.6 million, but it would be nice to get to 1.3 million or something. So, in Excel, I'm going to head over to the data ribbon, and over towards the right, I'm going to look at the what if analysis and then goal seek. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the goal seek dialog box, which is a pretty simple little dialog box. Let me move it right over here. There's only a few things to fill out, but it can still be kind of tricky. So I'm going to set cell, which is my goal cell. I'm going to set cell in this case C7, which is my future value, and I want it to be 1,300,000. So I'm going to type in 1,300,000. .000. So 1,300,000. Notice I'm not putting any commas in there. That's my goal. My goal is to have my future value at 1.3 million. And I'm going to get to this goal by changing the monthly investment cell. I'm going to click OK, and Excel is going to run through some calculations, and it's going to determine that if I am 44, I need to be investing $1,238.18 per month in order to hit that goal. Make sense? Okay. Let's see if we can't do something similar. I'm going to go ahead and open up the Goal Seek again. So I'm on the data ribbon, What If Analysis Goal Seek. This time, I'm going to set my monthly draw. Let's say I've done some calculations and some accurate estimations, and I feel pretty sure that I'm going to need $4,600 per month in retirement in order to enjoy the life that I want. So I'm going to set that monthly draw to $4,600 by changing my monthly savings and investing. I'll click OK. Excel is going to run through some calculations. And it tells me that I need to be saving $13.14 a month in order to get to a future value amount that will get me to that $4,600 monthly draw. So this is a pretty cool little system. And you can use it in several different ways on calculators based on formulas. Now let me open it back up and just point out something on here, Goal Seek. The change cell always needs to be a cell that just contains a numeric value. So basically, what I've been changing so far has been my monthly savings and investment amount, which is just a, which is just a number that's typed in, not changing a cell that has a, uh, a calculation, for instance, like years left. However, I could start to figure out current age. So I'll do it one last time here. What if analysis and goal seek? This time, let's say... I want to change my future value to 2 million. Actually, bear with me here. I'm going to cancel this real quick. I'm going to change this monthly investment to $400. It'll make more of an interesting impact. OK, try this again. What if analysis goal seek? I'm going to set my future value to 2 million by changing my current age. Basically, I want Excel to tell me what age should I have started this plan. I'll click OK. Excel's going to run through the math and it says, OK, if I'm going to say 400 a month, I really needed to have started this just after my 31st birthday. That would give me the appropriate years left to get to that goal of $2 million at age 65. 
Make sense? Okay, so that's on the data ribbon, what if analysis, goal seek. Use that goal seek dialog box to get specific information that will lead you to a goal. Take care.